The following steps will guide you in using the TIG brush for marking and etching. Steps 1 to 5 will be identical for marking and etching. Steps 6 to 10 will then be specific to either marking or etching. Let's begin. Step 1. Screw the marking head adapter into the marking head electrode. Step 2. Place a 50mm length of the heat resistant felt with the soft side showing onto the marking head electrode and secure with the heat resistant O-ring. Step 3. Screw the marking head adapter clockwise into the red cable's handle. Step 4. Place your heat resistant marking stencil on the area to be marked or printed. Secure with masking tape to stop the stencil from moving during the marking process. Step 5. Connect the earth clamp to your workpiece. The following steps are for marking only. The mark mode is used to indelibly mark logos, part numbers or any information onto stainless steel. Marking Step 6. When using the TBE X440, make sure your TIG brush is set to single brush power setting and the mark mode. For marking with the TBE X550 and TBE X700, use the Propel wide brush setting and the mark mode. Marking Step 7. Dip the marking head assembly into the TB90 marking fluid, ensuring that the felt is wet. Marking Step 8. Run the marking head over the stencil with slight pressure for between 10 to 15 seconds, making sure you have run over every part of the printable area. Marking Step 9. Remove your stencil and rinse the printed area with clean water. Marking Step 10. For a bright, fingerprint resistant finish, apply TB50 stainless steel finishing fluid. Wipe down with a damp cloth and buff dry. The following steps are for etching only. The Polish Etch Mode is used for etching logos, part numbers and any information onto stainless steel. Etching Step 6. Make sure your TIG brush is set to the Propel Wide Power setting and the Polish Etch Mode. Etching Step 7. Dip the marking head assembly into TB95 etching fluid, ensuring that the felt is wet. Etching Step 8. Applying slight pressure, run the marking head over the entire printable surface of the stencil for no longer than 20 seconds. Etching Step 9. Remove your stencil and rinse the etched area with clean water. If required, use a buffing wheel or a damp Scotch-Brite abrasive pad to brighten your etch. Etching Step 10. For a bright, fingerprint-resistant finish, apply TB50 stainless steel finishing fluid. Wipe down with a damp cloth and buff dry.